The Breakdown, live tonight, Sky Sport 1. <laughs> start to a new four-year cycle. Under Janine Salvi, the new combinations blended and looked confident in their first win of the inaugural quad series. Meanwhile, the Spa Proteas gained valuable experience from facing the world's best. Norma Plummer has introduced a bit of Aussie style into her team, while maintaining their own natural flair, which could be dangerous for the Kiwis. Both sides have transformed drastically since their encounter in last year's Tiny Jamison Trophy. And today they meet for the first time in this new netball era. As the crowds and teams arrive, the atmosphere is building for what Thorburn fans are hoping to be another fine performance from their team. It's match three of Zanzia Netball Quad Series between the Silver Ferns and Spa Proteas coming to you live on Sky from Claudelin's Arena in Hamilton. The Silver Ferns were relentless in their win over England on Saturday and will want to back up that performance with another strong display tonight. Hello, I'm Adine Wilson and joining me in the lead up to tonight's match is newly retired, I won't call her former Silver Fern just yet, but I think you are. <laughs> now, how was it watching the Silver Ferns from the couch on Saturday night? Pretty hard to watch? It was a little bit hard to watch, but I must say I enjoyed my glass of wine on the couch, so, and just the girls played amazing, so that made it better. Yeah, no, Liana, it's great to have you here joining us tonight. Well, what will you make of the Silver Ferns performance on the Saturday? Impressed you? Yeah, it did. Especially, they've only had three days to prepare and I thought they the connections was there. It looked like they played together for some time and I was really impressed with that effort. Well, let's take a closer look at the results from Saturday. The Quad Series, it kicked off in Auckland with the world champion Diamonds dominating the Proteas 68-43. That match was followed directly by the Silver Ferns taking on the England Roses with the Silver Ferns impressing with a 26-goal win. Well, following us tonight here at Claudelin's Arena, it's Australia versus England coming to you at 10 o'clock from Adelaide. Well, Liana, whilst the South Africans, they lost by 25 goals, there were definitely promising signs, weren't there? In particular, what did you think of the intensity from the South Africans? Yeah, I like the intensity. I think they stepped it up from last time they played the Silver Ferns. And I was really impressed with the fitness. They looked stronger. They looked like they wanted to be really competitive. And I was really impressed with that. Well, for the defensive circle for the South Africans, Mostat and Marwini, they had a tough ask coming up against a slick Australian shooters. But what did you make of their performance? Look, they were um, competitive out there. I thought Carla Mostat had a great game against Medhurst. Um, she's a tough opponent, as I know. And I thought, you know, defensively, they worked together as, as a unit and they picked up some lovely ball. How important is that wing defence position and promoting ball for that defensive circle? Very important. You know, I always yell at my wing defence because they're the ones that makes you look good. But very important to, to have that, that pressure from the wing defence. Well, Anise Potgita, she was impressive at goal shoot, but she was ably assisted by Rensky Skolt. It was only her second debut. How did you think she performed? Yeah, I thought in the beginning a little bit of jitters, but she once she got comfortable, she just took that shot from anywhere, and I was impressed with that because that's a hard task to do against Australian defence. Well, the Silver Ferns, they were dominant on Saturday. Surprised many, actually, their performance, in particular their connections on attack. Did it surprise you, those connections, how slick they seem when it's only the first test that Miss and Ekanasio have played together? Yeah, look, those two impressed me really well. I thought Bailey had an amazing game. Um, 
and me also as I can say she just passes the ball to Bailey in a time and then Bailey just has to be ready and she is and I, I really was impressed with the feeding especially they didn't have time together so um, yeah I'm looking forward to see their combination grow and what did you make of the triangles that were used around the circuits it was a really good connection between Francois and Langman yeah I was impressed with that as well they just let the ball go and you could tell you know they practiced that and I'm sure they'll be stoked that it actually came off so um, they would want to build on that tonight and see how they can improve that and be ready for the Australians well looking down your end of expertise the defensive circle Grant and Phoenix Karaka it's a new combination we haven't got you there anymore to look at what did you make of their performance and what do they need to work on in this match to pick up even more ball? Yeah, I thought they they were connected. You know, they played against um, with each other for the pulse. So I think defensively, as a unit, they could definitely set up a little bit more ball. Phoenix is known for coming out and try and set it up. And even as you can see there, Jane likes to come out for the ball and just setting up for each other. You know, that's what defence is all about. And we can if we can be good at that, then definitely we'll be competitive against Australia. Well, no doubt the Silfern side will be going for the win, but what else will they be wanting to achieve from tonight's match? Those connections, those connections are really important, and especially against Australia, you know, you want to go out there with a bang, and um, they will want to see if what they're actually practising works in a game, and, and what better way to test it against the South Africans tonight. Well, we've had our time to give our little bit of an opinion. Time now to head down to our former captain, Anna Staley, and get her thoughts on the game. Thanks, Dane. Well, look, I'll be looking forward to the matchup in the midcourt here tonight. Watch for the athleticism, the speed of both Langman and Bongi Insomi, the captain for South Africa. Of course, we watched Insomi on Saturday afternoon. She had a whole game at wing attack. She played with pace. She's very quick, but she can also work that ball calmly and patiently onto the circle edge. Langman played a game at centre, but look, tonight I think she is world class at her position of wing defence. She she can really contain her opposition. She really restricts them. So watch for that real tussle in the midcourt between Langman and Insomia. It will not disappoint. Of course, both coaches, they'll be looking forward to this one. I'm pretty sure Janine Southby will be a little less nervous than she was on Saturday. But in the same respect, never underestimate a team coached by Norma Plummer. Tanya Dalton caught up with both coaches earlier on. Well, Norma, I know you were pleased with your side's performance up against the Diamonds on Saturday. What do you want to see tonight against the Silver Fern? Oh, pretty much the same, you know. I want the pressure and I want the effort, mainly the effort. And uh, also, we've got to be consistent with the ball. You know, we a lot of the balls that um, we don't score off, we spray ourselves. It's not even the pressure. We just overcook the pass. And they're the sort of things we've tried to work on and talk to them about, you know, pulling it in but more so shortening up the leads. Janine, it must be a good feeling having the first test in the bank and you're playing so well. What's going to be the focus for your side tonight, the Silver Fern? Look, just um, building our connections. At times they were a little bit hairy and we did throw a little bit of wall away so we're working on cutting our error rate and just getting more confidence on attack with our movement and opening up the space a little bit more. You haven't seen a lot of the South African team. Is it a matter of dissecting their game or, or is it a matter of just focusing on your own? Yeah, like a combination of the two. We certainly had a look at what they did against Australia, but it's always hard because everyone's different against different opposition. But the main focus for us is just con continuing to grow our game and our understandings of each other. Well, we can't wait. We're looking forward to it. All the best. Thanks, Tanya. Well, she's got a big smile and she definitely had a big one after the game on Saturday. Well, let's take a look now at the starting seven for both sides. Starting at the back tonight for the Silver Ferns, Phoenix Karaka gets the start at goalkeep and she'll come up against the young, talented Lenise Potgita. Playing her 81st test cap and second as captain, Katrina Grant starts at goal defence and she'll come up against tonight, Redsky Stoltz. World-class player and vice-captain of the Silver Ferns, Laura Langman starts at wing defence and she'll face off against the captain and dynamic player, Bongi Yinsoni. In the midcourt, well, she ran nine kilometres playing three quarters with a GPS on Saturday afternoon. Erin Berger starts at centre and she'll come up against the very in-form and fit Shannon Francois. Down the attack end, Grace Rasmussen starts at wing attack and she'll face off against Precious Ntembu. Down the shooting end for the Silver Ferns, Amelia Ann Ekanasio gets the start at goal attack and she'll face off against the very athletic and energetic Carla Mostat. 
Rounding off the starting seven for the Silver Ferns, Bailey Mez coming off a very comprehensive performance on Saturday, shooting 93%. She starts at goal shoot, and Punza Marwaini will have the task of shutting her down. Plenty of ammunition on the bench from both sides. We could see the likes of Maya Wilson take the court and get her very first test cap. For South Africa, we could see a Lombard, a Lover, or a Sigrid Berger. Looking forward to this one. Thank you very much, Anna. All set for match three in this inaugural International Netball Quad Series. It is the Silver Ferns up against South Africa. Thank you. 
So we're all set for this third match in the inaugural International Netball Series and the Silver Ferns thrilling us last Saturday and beating England and South Africa. Well, wow, skillful, athletic and courageous and our match umpires, Jackie Maido and Kate Stevens from England and Tara Orta from Australia. Nothing you can do about that, sorry. Minxie, hope it doesn't last.